Hi there, Jamie here from Poodle Press. Here's a look at how you can customize the shop page of your WooCommerce store to create something far more spectacular. So uh, this is a page I'm going to show you how I built. And you'll see it has this lovely uh, image product slider at the top here, then some testimonials, then categories that you can choose underneath here. And we've added these in this lovely masonry grid. Then following on down the page, we've got this sort of more standard uh, WooCommerce grid, which is just showing some hand-picked products from my shop. Uh, then further on down here, we've created a section called R Picks, which has got this gorgeous uh, product square grid, which is uh, another great feature. And then finally down, sorry, finally down here, we've got two sections. We've got in the press, which is just featuring one of our products, and then we've got an FAQ section, which is very short. But the beauty about this is that you can customize this page to however you like. It's using the new block editor and just a few plugins that I'm going to show you how to use. If you follow the steps in the um, that I put above this video or below this video, then you can set that as your as your shop page. But the beauty is you've got complete control over what you show here. So you're not restricted by the default WooCommerce shop page. You can create this however you like. So you create a new page, and then I'm gonna show you at the back end of this. So I'm gonna to go to edit page and just show you how, how I built this. So all I've, and I'll just go down this page to explain exactly. It's also on the diagram that I'm gonna include as well with a, um, and a link in this article to each of the plugins that I've used. So we start with just a heading block. Under here, we've got a paragraph block. Underneath here, this is a storefront blocks block. And this is the slider block where you can choose a different layout. So you can make this full width. You can change the height of this. So it's all very interactive. Uh, you can select which products you want to show in here. So you can choose any products you like in here. And it's just a block that comes as a plugin. So it's super easy to use. Underneath here, we've got another block, which is the ultimate um, add-ons block. Uh, and again, I put a link to this where you can just add your own testimonials. But the beauty about this approach is that you can use any uh, block, any third party Gutenberg block to, to build these. Under here, we've just got a category heading with some, a paragraph block underneath. And then under here, again, we're using a storefront blocks. So storefront blocks is one of our plugins and it just lets you create these beautiful uh, masonry layouts that you like. And in, in here, we've just chosen the categories. You can choose the categories that you want to show. So you can show more or less of them. It's entirely up to you. And again, within this, you've got different um, options for layout. So you can make it full width and all sorts of, um, you can change the height of this. Look at this, this is cool. You can change the grid gap in here. So you can do that sort of whizzy stuff. So you've got complete control over the layout of this. You can also change um, the label alignment here. So these labels can center and you can change the fonts in here and change the font sizes, all sorts of whizzy stuff. See how these fonts are now growing. How cool is that? So it really is like building your own shop page. Now, further on down here, we've got the standard WooCommerce block that is now core to WooCommerce. So you can add these products and select your products within here. Um, so I've just used the hand-picked one here. And that's what that looks like. Uh, you have limited layout options with this block at the moment. So if you want more customization options, check out our storefront blocks. Uh, plugin because you we have the similar block to this but you have more options then under here here under here here under here we have one of my favorite blocks which is the uh, again a storefront block that we've built and this is the product square grid so again you've got loads of controls in here you can change the rows the columns the, the grid gap in here see that how cool is that um, and you can also change things like the text size the label alignment again see how I've now centered it now further on down here we've just got a heading block under there, we've got this, uh, again, this is a block that we built from part of the storefront blocks, library of blocks. And this is just the product block. It lets you bring a product and feature your product. And again, you've got tons of controls in here. So you can do all sorts of wizzy stuff like change the content, uh, change the image size, see how the image size is growing, or you can hide the image as well if you want to. If you want to add a background, you could do that as well. So tons of controls. You can also change all the fonts in here. And then finally under there, we've just got um, a heading block and a paragraph block. And that's how we achieve that pretty cool looking shop page. But the beauty is you've got complete control over every element on this now using the new block ed ed editor. And if you use those four steps that I put in this post, you can set this as your shop page and then you can do whatever you like. Hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, uh, pop, pop them in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks very much.